morning children and welcome to the last session for today's chapter that will be having the conventions uh, of accounting and this is probably the last topic of chapter number 3 so we are having three conventions that we have already discussed that what are conventions conventions are the customs and traditional practices which we have been following since lot of years uh, in the process of uh, recording the transactions in accounting so today we'll discuss with the first convention that is full disclosure full disclosure means the sufficient information which is important from the point of view of the user should be shown in the books of account as i quote the language sufficient information which is important for the user should be shown or disclosed otherwise what will happen the user shall not be benefited with the information that we are providing him so it is very important that before showing anything in the books of account we have to judge that whether this information shall be sufficient for the user to understand and take his decisions regarding the uh, regarding the matter he is concerned to now why this principle is important because uh, otherwise what will happen if we will not disclose the things the user will become helpless in taking the decisions for what, whatever was important for him to understand if we are not showing it then what is the use of showing such information uh for example what kind of information shall be shown the reasons for the changes in a particular method if we are making a changes in a method then we have to show the reasons why we have to change this method then causes of low turnover shall also be shown as a footnote and a lot of other information shall be shown below the profit and loss account or balance sheet as a footnote so as to provide necessary information for the user to take his decisions and understand that why these changes have happened so this is called the full disclosure in, uh, principle which states that sufficient information shall be provided to the internal and external users for making various decisions okay it does not however mean leaking of the secrets full disclosure does not mean that you have to leak all the secrets and provide all the information about the business which is very important and crucial but it says that genuine information should be provided it does not mean that we have to reveal all the secrets to everyone okay so this is called the full disclosure principle or concept or convention that we say okay now moving on to the next convention that is materiality now what is materiality it is a kind of a contradiction with full disclosure materiality convention shows while providing the information to a particular group while providing the information to a particular group of people or users it should be considered that what actually the users want to know irrelevant information only putting up a lot of text and comments will not make any benefit to the users we have to judge the accountant has should have the capability of judging that what is important for the user only such important information should be provided and what is immaterial for him i mean to say what is immaterial for the user shall be avoided they should not be provided with bulk of information which is irrelevant to the user okay let us take an example uh, for example uh, the cost of small toys for a small firm is very important if you are having a small business then even a 2 rupee cost matter but if we are having a very big firm say escorts say any other big firm for this for such a big firm the cost of small toys is irrelevant so while presenting the accounts it is necessary that important information shall be revealed and important information shall be avoided but we have to judge that what is important or what is material for what kind of user uh, as i suggested the example that cost of small tools is important for a small firm but it is irrelevant for a very large firm since it is making business at a very large scale so the accountant has to judge that whatever is important from the point of view of user only such information shall be shown in the books and irrelevant unnecessary information shall be avoided now we take up the third convention today which is one of the most important conventions and we are following it uh, particularly in our books while maintaining them the third convention is prudence in other words we say conservatism conservatism as the word suggests have to be conservative in thinking okay now what this particular uh, um, convention says all anticipated losses should be recorded all anticipated losses shall be recorded 
in the books but all anticipated or unrealized gains should be avoided we have to provide the losses even if we would see from a far of distance but we cannot provide any profit any gain unless and until we have received that this is called the process of prudence or the convention of conservatism that anticipated losses shall be shown in the books of accounts even they are anticipated anticipated means assumed we are only thinking that they will happen but still they should be shown as a precautionary measure but gains anticipated gains shall not be shown in the books of accounts unless and until we are receiving that gain so this is called the principle of conservatism and it has to be strictly followed while preparing the accounts it's a policy of playing safe actually we have to be prepared for the losses which are unforeseen which are going to come in future we shall prepare ourselves for them so there is no overestimation of profits it is necessary that a financial statements should present a realistic picture it is very important that the financial statements which we are making should present a realistic picture rather than only having a dreamy situation that we are going to make such profits in the future so it should show the realistic picture for example if the stock which is kept unsold that is called the closing stock and the in the end of the year it should be shown either at the cost price or the realizable value whichever is less following the principle of conservatism the stock which is left unsold at the end of the year we don't know at how much price it will be sold in the next year so we follow the principle of conservatism we show the closing stock at a value either at the cost price or at a price at which it can be sold in future whichever is less amongst the two we have to show the closing stock on that value in the books this is called the principle of conservatism where all anticipated profits shall be avoided and all anticipated losses shall be provided so these are the three conventions that we have discussed today i hope that um, you have understood all three with this we come to the closure of chapter number 3 and by tomorrow most probably we will be starting with chapter number 4 till then bye bye take care